So if your body thinks you're in scarcity, it is depleting it specifically from your hair. Your hair is a non-vital organ. You need your heart to pump blood, you need your lungs to breathe. Your hair is gonna be deprioritized. The worst thing is, is that if you have heavy periods or maybe a copper IUD, if you've just had a baby, this depletion can crash ferritin levels for years. If you know that you're iron deficient, your doctor has probably prescribed you non-heme iron, which is ferrous sulfate. This is so hard to absorb without correcting your gut inflammation first you're not going to absorb anything low iron levels mimic hypothyroid symptoms this is fatigue feeling tired all the time cold intolerance when it's freezing cold and you just can't take the cold brittle hair brittle nails skin issues this is a really common indicator that you could be suffering from low ferritin so you want to test your iron levels but not just your ferritin stores ask for these specific tests you want to test serum iron ti IBC, transferrin saturation, and inflammation markers like CRP. Otherwise, you'll miss completely functional anemia. How do we fix iron? It's so difficult to absorb. So you want to prioritize heme iron. Non-heme iron is things like plants, vegetables, green leafy vegetables, spinach. You want to supplement with heme iron. So that is meat, beef spleen, liver. Those are going to be the best. I know it's not great, but you want to have something like beef organ, 